welcome to WASD Gamecom. Now you might be wondering what I'm doing. Um, I am filming a tutorial for Unreal 4, and this is for one of my college classes. So, sorry, but you guys are going to get a tutorial today and not really a gameplay video. So, for my actual class that's going to be watching this, or my teacher that's going to be watching it one way or the other, um, hello? And what I'm going to be going over today is how to create, edit, and um, import uh, creature sounds into Unreal 4. Now, uh, the easiest part of this whole thing is going to be importing it into Unreal 4, and then you have to implement it and such like that. But actually creating... Um, uh, creature sounds can be quite difficult, especially to those who don't really know where to look. So, I am actually a really, I'm really good at doing voices and sounds. Um, I'm a death metal vocalist, so I can do these sort of like growls and um, sounds in general. And that's what I'm going to be doing for the creature in my actual game design level. So basically, what you want to do is, uh, if you can't make the creature sounds yourself... Find someone that's really good with making voices or uh, sound effects. Uh, this is just the way I'm doing it. I'm sure there's other ways to do it as well, but this is how I'm going to be doing it. So essentially, what my creature in my game is going to be is actually going to be a floating smiley face. Like, picture the Walmart smiley face coming after you, trying to kill you. So what I want to do is I want to make a sound that is completely different than what you would expect from that. And being a death metal vocalist, I'm going to be doing some growls, grunts, etc. So here we go. Ooh. So sounds like that should probably work. I'm doing this in all of the same Audacity file. So obviously you're going to want to split it up and uh, isolate the sound effects. Now what I was doing was we're uh, like deep guttural <laughs> type things. And um, stuff that you want to do as well would be like some varying sound effects. Like I could do uh, another sound effect like this. <laughs> stuff like that. Now, the biggest part about this afterwards would be that you'll have to um, extract these and um, edit them in either Audacity or Audition or Pro Tools. I use all three. Um, Audacity is just the easiest to use, so I can't really edit them while I'm doing this right now, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that now. All right, guys, I have my Audacity file open. So basically what I'm going to do is um, I have a couple different editing uh, software. Um, I have Pro Tools 11, Audacity, and Audition. Um, and just for the sake of uh, simplicity, because Audacity is free, I'm going to teach you how to do some stuff in Audacity. So what I want to do is, first of all, I'm going to listen to this stuff. So... Ooh. Now, obviously, uh, you can hear my voice in it. That's something I want to cut out. I want to make sure you can't hear my voice at all. I just need the sound effect. So, first of all, delete that. That's just background noise. Ooh. 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 Just want to get the breath out. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Okay. Ooh. All right, and then we have some more noise. Um, let me silence that. Silence audio, control L, just do that, it'll get rid of it. Alright, and you notice how this one cut off, just do a little fade out. That'll help out a little bit. Maybe a little bit more of a fade out. 
All right, there you go. And then. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, that one didn't really even have that much of a trail off, so that one's probably good. Control L to silence the rest. What do we do here? <clears throat> that one's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and edit through this, and I'll go back uh, after I get all that edited through. Okay, guys, so I uh, got all of the dead air around there, so let's take a look at, let's take a listen to this real quick, just to make sure if we need any more editing. <clears throat> probably won't use that last one, but I'll see what I can do to it. So, uh, obviously, since we're talking about a creature here, and uh, I had to switch around the actual thing, it's not going to be a smiley face, it's going to be a rock monster. Um, what I want to do is I want to make this not sound so much like me, so I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to normalize everything uh, right here. Just normalize. All right. Normalize the rest here. All right. <coughs> okay. Now let's take this. Let's uh, add some more bass to it. Take a little bit of the treble. Or uh, there you go. Let's try that. <coughs> it's not going to change it too much, but. <coughs> yeah. Adding bass uh, helps a lot with that. <coughs> Okay, now we can do it. We can do some more stuff. We can uh, cha we could change the pitch. So let's say I wanted to bring it down a little bit. <coughs> Maybe a little bit more. <coughs> See, that's starting to sound like a rock guy. You know what I mean? So let's uh, let's select everything. We're just gonna select everything. We're gonna drop it down a couple of pitches. So let's uh, let's see how this sounds. Okay, that's getting there. Let's listen to these. There you go. It kind of sounds like rocks moving around. So that starts that's that starts to sound decent. So basically, what I want to do with this, because I, I like what I did here, um, I can go ahead and see about maybe doing that. But uh, let's go ahead and level this out just a little bit, make it a little more even across the board. All right, add a little bit of reverb because uh, mine's taking place into a in a uh, kind of a, a a really it's not necessarily a dry area, kind of like this audio room. Uh, it's not going to be too much, but I, I do want to add a little bit of reverb. So uh, let's try this. Let's just drop the room size a little bit. <coughs> and basically, uh, what reverb does, as you can hear, it, it like let's say I turn the room size all the way up. <coughs> it uh, it acts like it's in a it's in a room. So that's uh, what you kind of want to do, and that's what I'm trying to do. I want it to um. I want it to seem like he's in kind of a room with a little bit of echo. So let's do that. I like that. Let's... See, and it just has a little bit of atmosphere in that. So, um, anything else? I don't think it'll be too big of a deal. I want to do. I do want to try one thing. Let's take this little thing where I did an inhale over here, and let's uh, let's Paul stretch it. Paul stretch, what it does, it takes each um, second and turns it into 
10 seconds. And I just want to do this uh, as really just see what happens. <laughs> Instant atmosphere, but that's not what I want to do with that, so just wanted to see. All right, um, that is about it. That's what I want to do for that. So now what I want to do is I want to split everything up and make uh, a sound effect for each one. So here's what I want to do. Uh, I'll go into my games, advanced game. That's what I'm doing. I'll go ahead and make a folder for that, so sounds. All right, and this is where I'm going to put all my sounds. So let's just drag that, copy it, make sure it's copied. Copy, let's just delete it and paste it to make sure it's there. Yep, we're good there. So let's go ahead and delete that. This is just going to be one of my one of the grunts. Yep, so we're going to export that. Now, from experience, uh, I just imported like a song. Unreal 4 earlier, and it really does. It likes wave files the best. So what I want to do is keep it as a wave file, um, which is uncompressed. And we're gonna do let's say um, grunt one. All right. There's that. We'll delete that, and we'll go ahead and post the next bit, which is the second grunt. All right. We're gonna copy that. Make sure it copies. All right. Uh, I want to zoom in on this a little bit because it's there's a little bit of dead noise there. Okay, that's fine. And like I said, we want to go ahead and export that. Uh, maybe grunt two. <coughs> a little inconsistent with the naming, but it'll be fine. And basically what you're going to want to do is uh, rinse, lather, repeat on all that. So I'm going to take the time to go ahead and export all my sounds. And I'll get back to you. And after this, I'm going to go into Unreal 4. Okay, there we go. Um, so, yeah, this is my level so far. Got some trigger volumes and blocking volumes and all of these good things. And stuff like that. I need to um, finish up. Uh, it's due in a... Well, by the time I post this, it'll probably be due and done. So, I'm not going to show you everything right now. I'm just going to go straight to the monster effects. Because, honestly... I'm not quite sure how to map the sounds to him, so I'm going to have to do some stuff. And that's him. He has his arms stretched. It's rather terrifying. So um, let me just show you what happens right now. This is the trigger volume. Uh, let, me show you the, let me show you the blueprints. So this is a blueprint in Unreal 4. Uh, this is just some stuff I'm trying to do for Wally. He's not doing it very well. And this is what makes him move. You got that thing I was just uh, I just clicked on. It was the trigger volume. And it's going to the simple move actor and all this good stuff. And this is supposed to kill you when he touches you. But it's not. So I don't know what is going on there. I'm trying to get my teacher to help me out. Um, and this is the add audio component. Um, this is to a song that's going to play when I cross that. So let me go ahead and play this for you guys. I'm just going to play from here. Uh, oh, never mind. Something's wrong. Something ro something happened. Something happened. Okay, so that door opens. Door opens. Clutch feet card. Opens and, this, and he's chasing me. And we got Cannibal Corpse. We got Cannibal Corpse. Oh, yes! It works! It touched me and it works. I don't know why I, I don't know why it activated now, but it wasn't working earlier. Hold on, I gotta go do that again. I'm really happy. That that wasn't working earlier today. Thanks, Unreal. I don't know what changed, but he touched me. Got that. Buddy Jake's looking at me weird. He's on the other side of the glass. Alright, there's that. And as soon as I access this gate, he's gonna start chasing me at Candle Court's place. So now, what I wanna do is I want 
to create a sound. I want to create sounds. So let's go into our audio and we'll make a new folder. And we're going to do um, Wally Sounds. There's that. And let's go back into our other folder. Do this. See, there's all of our stuff. Let's make sure these work. Breath. Yep, breath works. All right. So what we want to do is we want to create a sound cue. I spelled roar very wrong. I know. Sound cue. There we go. Let's just do um, various sounds. All right. And this is our sound cue. This is our sound cue window. All right. And this is the output. Basically, it's very similar to the blueprint screen I was showing you because it is a blueprint. It's a type of blue. It's not a blueprint, but whatever. So we have this, and the only thing I don't want to put in there is the monster exits. That's going to be a timed event. So let's just grab all of this and just drag it in here. Okay? So here we go. We have all of our sounds. We have grunt, one through five. We have our poorly done roar and our growls and breath. So um, on second thought, we're going to have breath. Uh, let's play you. We're gonna have uh, the breath and the roar and that roar um, timed events as well for the beginning. So we have our growls, we have our grunts, and all that. So what we want to do is you right click here, and this is all of our nodes we can do. Um, honestly, it isn't much, but we can do stuff with it. We want to have a random. And with our random, we want to have all of these. Okay, so let's just have our randomizer here. Um, these weren't needed, but whatever. Um. Okay, and that's, it's just randomized. And what we want to do, we want to continuously play. It's out of looper. Okay. There we go. That's what we wanted. We want to have a loop. keeps going but what we want to do is we also want to have a delay because we don't want it to just continuously be playing sounds you know what I mean so do that let's just add a delay and I'd say let's have a, um, a maximum delay of five seconds and a minimum delay of three seconds so let's play that see that is working so that's what we want to do and we have our delay with that we have the looper and we have all of that so that's fine okay so we have that and that's playing are you still going yeah, you are. We want you to stop. Okay, so we have that. Now what we want to do is, once the player crosses this bar where the music starts, we also want to start activating the sound effects. So we have that, and we have this. 
there's this. So what we want to do is we want to get that sound cue of various sounds, and we want to pop that in there. All right, we have this, and we'll go ahead and do that as well. Just move that out there. Okay, now if all is if all is good, it should be able to do that. It should play the sound effects while we're going, and uh, while and hit, while we're here, we can do this. Let's go ahead and uh, grab that breath sound. Let's grab that breath sound. We'll just pop that in there. Uh, minimize that. We'll drop that in there. All right. that and we want to do that okay and that should play the sound effect when we die so let's go in that comment of death okay there's that that should work so what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and play the let's go ahead and that door falls to open door. goes through run that so um and I'll honestly the um the, the music i'm playing should probably be a little quieter but that's 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 it we've got that and we've got all of that could probably use a couple of lights in here honestly it's a little dark but we have that the creature follows you and he makes sounds um one of the things i want to do is once i'm actually like through here I'm going to have this sound effect of the uh, monster exits. Once I hit a trigger volume in the exit plane, the, I'm going to have that play. And it's going to be the same sort of thing. You go into the blueprints, you have the trigger volume, activate that by dragging it into the sound cue. And, um, yeah, uh, I have that for the monster. I'm sure there's other ways you can do it. Not that much. Yeah. Yeah. We have that saved. We have that. We have the sound. We have the monster creating sounds while he's chasing you. That's it. It plays the sound effect, and that's how you. That's how you place it. I'm sure there's other ways to like attach the sound to the actual enemy, but that's just how I'm doing it, and it's gonna work. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. So anyway, guys, thanks for checking out my tutorial. It'll stay up here, even though it's a technically a homework assignment. I'm gonna keep it up on the channel so you guys can come back to it and uh, do stuff like that. Um, if you guys ever need me to do sound effects for something, I'm always up for that. Just uh, send me a message or leave a comment or whatever. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for checking it out. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. WASD GameCom.